Okay, I just sort of realized that the two little dots on the wall right there and the swerve above them and below them right here, it looks like a grumpy face sort of just like, that's his eyebrows up there and those are his eyes. And it's like his grumpy mouth, he's like, well, what are you doing here? I don't know, it's just like, he's judging us for being swallowed. Good morning, everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Mario & Luigi, Yub's Inside Story. In the last episode, we got inside of Yub, in case you couldn't tell. In this episode, we gotta find a way out, presumably. Or just accept the fact that we're never escaping. And relive our favorite episodes of Ozzy and Drix. If I could get this roll, I'd, I'd submit the way out of there. Can't seem to budget on my own now. Guess you should have budgeted more properly. Oh, that was really crummy. It does seem likely that rolling the giant stone down the hole will, ex will expendulate the passage. There may be other Yoshis wandering around here. I suggest we locate them. Any way to get the big bros up here? Uh, yes, there is. It's kind of painful to have a warp pipe suddenly appear in your gut. And speaking of having things happen in your gut that are painful, uh, if you go ahead and dig into his guts, you can see he looks all in pain and stuff, and it makes me feel really bad when I, whenever I do that. So I try not to do it, because, like, I'm sure he didn't mean to devour us. He was just, like, looking out for himself. He didn't want to mean to do any harm. He seems, like, really adorable. Like, like those tiny little arms, like how he's, like, constantly like, scratching his chin or something like that. It's really funny. Uh, just gonna keep on getting- There's a lot of stinking beans in here. Uh, just FYI, if you are going for all the beans, once you leave this place, obviously you won't be able to come back, so... Oh, and it's not exclusive to Peach's Castle. We have a heart block here. That's a rare sight. Of course, it's in a place we can't come back to. Uh, we got all these stinking bean spots right here, but yeah, you can't come back here after leaving, so... If you wanna get all the beans, you best be careful to get them all on your first visit, because it'll be your only visit! Uh, we got all of them. Uh, some more. My god. If you were short on beans for any reason, then here you stink and go. Uh, not that we can actually use them for anything yet, but whatever. Got all of them right now. We got a yellow Yoshi just hanging out here. So hungry, we need fruit! Can we just give him a mushroom or something like that? Of course not. It's never that simple. Uh, let's go down here. Got ourselves a fruit! How convenient! Okay, I guess it is that simple. Got a piece of fruit! Go and give it to this guy. So hungry, need fruit. The bull fruit. What the fruit? Thank you. This I'm good to go. Ah, bo, ba, 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 ba. I can't even come close to doing it, but whatever. Not gonna stop me from trying. Just like let's play. No. Gotta stop being so down on myself. Uh, I've definitely, I've been in one of those moods lately, I don't know if I even want to talk about it, but like, just been in one of those moods lately where I've been really down on myself and the work that I'm making. I really wish I could just turn that off, but it's not as easy as just telling yourself to shut up with a sadness. But I am really stinking sick of being sad all the time, uh, so maybe I can just get over it at this point, I don't know. Uh, hey, it's I'm sort of the embodiment of what I'm doing to myself right now, it's a bully. A uh, very different design. You can't jump on them, uh, contrary to what their designs may suggest otherwise. Uh, but after you do so, they get all angry and stuff, so I would recommend focusing on just one of them. Oh, he became super, super charged. Uh, okay, so that's what they do. I'd recommend not uh, attacking multiple ones at a time, because uh, then it could be kind of bad for you to keep track of them all. Let's just go ahead and jump on him again, and he's gone. Uh, not a mushroom. Jump like so. And yeah, they could just be as easy or as difficult as you want them to be, basically. And of course, if you could just time it correctly, then you do get some extra damage done to them. Uh, just jump on him. He gets angry again. He's like, <laughs> and there he goes. Run on over here. There you go. You can always just not be greedy when trying to do the extra damage, but I like being greedy and getting extra damage done quicker. Uh, there was nothing else in this cave, right? Yep, just a new enemy for us. Go over here once more. If we check this place over here, we got two Yoshis pushing now. Push, 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 push. This one up super and a 100 coin coin. Coin coin, can you do the coin coin? Can you do the coin coin? I uh, got a save block right here. Might as well use it and get a new vacation photo. Hooray! We're looking to remember these wonderful memories. Uh, let's just go over here now. 
Uh, we head up here. There are a lot of branching pathways, as you can see. Uh, we're probably going to need to explore them all eventually. Get fully healed. All if be restored. Let's start going in a clockwise formation. Uh, what do we got? Uh, Omo Chow? Is that you? I uh, got another traumatized Yoshi. I hate seeing that spray. It just looks so sad. And we're getting attacked by a sentry robot. Or not. That was really awkward. Um, very weird way to present that enemy to us, but whatever. Uh, don't even know his name yet. Uh, that's a really cool way. Like, he, like, summons the UFO to, like, bring you in there, but then you use the hammer to hit it back at him. His name is R.C. Schruber. Very funny name. Uh, just gonna jump on him for now, see what else he could do. He has those sentry robots that he could actually send out as well, that we saw before. Is he gonna do it? No, he's gonna use the UFO again. And probably not the last time we'll see him, so we don't have to worry about seeing all the attacks on the first try. Gonna have to spread out throughout the entire video. Have it be interesting. Huh? A scoop! Eh, yeah, sure, why not? Hey, it's a stoplight. Red, yellow, green. Uh, nothing else over here. Get a coin. Get more beans. And get the get back on the shoulders and get out of here. Check uh, our second hole over here. Holy moly, this guy's got a lot of holes in his system. Ever so conveniently, he's got like a lot of necessities that we, we need. But though, then maybe he swallowed all these blocks and the stuff. So it's not completely out of the question as to why all this stuff is here. Uh, we do have a dry bone, so presumably he swallowed a Koopa and they were in here for so long they died or something. Uh, I'd rather not think too much into it. Or maybe it's just regular dry bones because these dudes do just exist in the Mario universe. So it doesn't have to be entirely gruesome. Though with how dark this game has been uh, up to this point, I wouldn't put it past them. So they're always going to be throwing their bones at you. And uh, if they do a little hop before throwing the bone, that means it's going to bounce up over your head. So uh, you do not want to jump for those ones because you'll end up hurting yourself. Uh, go ahead and hit him with the hammer. And get paralyzed. Very nice. I guess it would be smarter to use the hammer in every opportunity you can and instead of the jump. Because with the hammer, you have a chance of uh, stunning enemies. And the jump, you don't. So maybe it's in your best interest if you do that. Uh, let's see. Oh, this right here. I forget. Do I need to? No, I don't need to take a picture of it. That's remind me of a different uh, Mario uh, spin-off RPG game where they require you to take pictures. Like, I not a fan of those types of puzzles. Like any sort of puzzle that requires you to like pull out a piece of paper and a pen or something like that. I really don't like it. So, as you can see, you have blue and yellow on the wall right here. So what you need to do is use your hammer to turn this into blue and yellow. And that looks really stinking creepy. And he looks very much in pain, though I don't blame him. Uh, and using the hammer as well, it makes him really sad and stuff. I don't know why I keep doing it. Uh, sorry, buddy. Just gonna, gonna gonna have to do this real quick. And the cage is made out of bone and stuff. So, yeah, what you're gonna wanna do is go over here. Stand right around here. And you need to color coordinate this thing. So we'll start with the bottom row since we're here. Uh, make this yellow. And red. And blue. I guess you can just look at the bottom screen to see whenever it starts glowing. Uh, looks very nice. Very nice. Very nice. And very nice. I skipped one. Jump up here. Uh, very good. I guess you don't actually need to have Mario. Well, I guess. No, no. I don't know anything I'm talking about. So let's just forget about me saying anything. Because chances are it's probably wrong. Uh, and it's going to be wrong. I messed up that one. Uh, then you're good to go. Uh, very gross sound effect. I don't know why I was like, I was saying quiet because I was like, oh, it's going to have a gross sound effect, but it's going to do it anyway. I, mean, I don't really want to hear it, but it's going to, I want to hear it. Uh, it's going to happen. And it happens. Uh, get another bean spot. And talk to this guy. That was scary. And our stoplight is ruined, but now we got like the four colors of players for like Mario Party, I guess, because player one's red, player two is blue, player two, player three is yellow, and player four is green. I'm the only one who cares, so I'm just not even gonna continue talking about it. Uh, that was a weird way to go about doing that. Uh, I do like the design of like all these different entrances through his body. It's very like nice interior design. I'll give him that. 
Let's step on this dude, show him off this time a bit more. Uh, let's go ahead and tick them all off at once. How about that? Here's the smash egg. One of them. I uh, got the bottom one. The right side. And the left side. Can I at least KO one of them? Nope. Uh, we're in for a wild ride up, up next. They're all mad, and they're all gonna explode. Uh, jump! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Uh, not quite. God darn it. Uh, can I hit him? Nope. That was unfortunate, but let's use the smash egg again because we get extra experience if we finish the fight like this. Uh, let's do this. Yeah, why not? We'll do a little extra power this time. Uh, do that. Yeah, at least got rid of two of them. That's nice. They're all like, Ooh, uh, why not? Boing boing, and a boing a boing. No item, hooray! But we do get extra experience. Wait, that was like a, it went up by like twenty or something. That was actually pretty good. Ice flower for free. Very very nice. Like very very ice. I think the boss of this area is actually weak to ice, so that might be pretty good. Uh, let's get that and get that. Puffy trousers. What does that do? Uh, it is for the big bros. Fluffy, heart-friendly wool trousers made of the newest hip fabric. Increases HP and defense, but not uh, brings the power down. So I'm going to stay with what I got right now. Again, I'm all about that attack power in this game. If this is like a first playthrough, I definitely recommend the stuff with the defense, but it is not, so I am okay with what I got. Uh, I did not mean for that to rhyme, but whatever. Go down here, and I'll just cut away to when I defeat these two guys, because I want the experience. Mario got a level up, and I'll be upgrading his speed. And Luigi got a level up as well. And for him, I will be upgrading his probably defense. Very good. Six. Baby Mario got to level up. Hooray! Uh, let's see. We're going to be upgrading. Oh, defense is looking really good. Uh, so is speed. Uh, go with defense because that's always nice to have. Five. Number number five. Level 13 for Baby Luigi as well. And HP's looking pretty good. Uh, all of those are looking really good, actually. I think we can upgrade the stash for him, but let's go with a attack. Thank you for not regretting it. Hooray. I was like, um, I have a bias towards attack. That's going to bite me in the butt. Thankfully it didn't. Uh, but yeah, there we go. So I said I was recording excessively right now just because I was trying to fix my sleep schedule. Just trying to come up with something to do to keep me awake for a little while longer. And I'm starting to get a little sleepy and it's about to be midnight. It's about to be beyond midnight. So uh, I guess after I finish this dungeon, I'll be heading to bed. Hopefully I don't fall asleep during the recording. Uh, that, I'm still waiting for the day that happened. Like it was a long time ago where I was like doing a test recording of like Mega Man or something. I was tempted to just like Start doing a bunch of recordings that were like uh just a bunch of random one-offs or whatever uh but i didn't really want to push the channel in that direction or whatever so i just didn't really go on with it but uh there was a time where i was trying to record mega man but it was like one in the morning i was so stinking tired it was my first time playing mega man it was just like the most chill experience of failing miserably in a mega man game basically i was just like hmm, yeah I've been going through guts man and just failing failing i can't beat anything I think that was literally the only. I might be in like Cut Man, is it? Is it Cut Man or Air Man from Mega Man 1? And I don't know, just playing that for the first time. I wanted to collect all the Mega Man games, but like not actually play them. Uh, the only one I'm missing right now is 8, I think, because it wasn't released on the Wii U Virtual Console. 1 through 5 was on Wii's Virtual Console, 6 and 7 were on Wii U, and then 8 is just nowhere. And now, of course, they released the Mega Man Collection. I was just like, well, great. So that was sort of a waste, but whatever. Um, I don't want to buy the collection just to have Mega Man 8, but I don't know, it's just cool to have for shelf uh, purposes. Like, 
So it's just, just having like a lot of collection series things. I'm waiting for them to release No More Heroes 1 and 2 on uh, the Switch. I, think, I feel like I talked about this as well already, so I'm not going to go too far into it. Just that I would very much like if they ported those to the Switch, and that's very awkward. Uh, use a one mushroom. Very, very good. Any match. Uh, if you're wondering, Charles Martinet does the voices for the baby Mario and Luigi's as well as Mario and Luigi. He does everybody, basically. He does all the Mario's and Luigi's as well as Toadsworth from Mario Sunshine and uh, also any of the spin-off games like hi -ho! and stuff. Uh, got that taken care of. Nothing else up here. We got all blue things right here. Does that mean we have to make everything blue? Uh, we got pink Yoshi over there. Uh, let's go down. Actually, wait. If we go down uh, this hole, it will be... Uh, let's go to the far right first. Okay. Do that, but now we're stuck here, so just do that, I guess. And I don't know why it brings us all the way over here. Uh, just jump up here. And let's try this hole. That was unfortunate. Let's uh, try this hole instead. And we're good. I went out of here. Uh, this does... Okay, very simple. I don't know what's up with all the blue stuff up there, but maybe it'll be important later on. And he starts pushing as well. You'd think they would make some sort of progress, but no, apparently not. Uh, let's go and get back up on here. Up on these plumbers. Get down here. That was that one. We're almost done with this area. That's pretty cool. Uh, just jump down here now. And we got another one of these guys. We'll show them what for in a second, as soon as we get through here. And uh, we got more water. I don't think I want to be drinking the water that's coming from this guy. Uh, this is actually a good moment to max it up to nine because it's actually sort of important. Uh, that's what we need to do. We need to hit the UFO. Such a missed opportunity called a UFO or something like that, or Shrewbfo or something. I don't know why I'm so terrible at this. It's just because I'm insanely sleepy. My eyes are somewhat starting to go to fail me right now, so I apologize for that travesty just now. Uh, let's... God darn it. Uh, there you go! Hooray! And then starts getting all zigzaggy. And... Oh, come on. Uh... Oh, there you go. Second one, and it's just going crazy now! Oh, you only need to hit it twice? Okay, fine by me. And it explodes some of his internal organs away. That looks really painful. My god. Alright, now he's like terrorizing the entire island and all that jazz. He like devoured all of us, but I can't for, but feel bad for the guy. Get back up on here, and we probably have to fight this guy. Do I know how to call him or what? Let's go ahead and jumpity jump. Let's see if we get some new attacks shown from him. Uh, no, he's just gonna use this again. Okay. And I like, oh, he's not actually trying to, to abduct us. He's just, like, trying to, like, have us smash our heads against the bottom of the UFO, which is kind of funny. Get that experience in coins, and we're good. Lasso! <laughs> Get one more bean before we reunite with the Yoshis and see what we can do now that we're all back together. Push, push, push. Wow, we're such jerks not helping out in any way. And we're good. That looks really painful. My god, I'm sorry, buddy. Woohoo, let's roll. Woohoo. Oh, they're out of here. Uh, pick up you guys. Don't want to leave you behind. And what was...
was the point of this anyway? It was just like to demonstrate the fact that we could change the colors of these things, I guess. Cannonballers and smash eggs, which is always nice to see. And dry bones, which aren't always nice to see. There's his new attack where he's just using the sentry robot. I believe if you step on it, it explodes, so you don't want to do that. Uh, let's go do that. Very, very easy fight. And a super mushroom as well. I like all the experience we're getting, even though we're not getting level ups from every single fight. Like, it just seems a lot more excessive amounts of experience than uh, the, we were used to in the previous area. Okay, so you can jump on it and actually short circuits and run back, runs back and hits him. So, I just messed up previously, so just so you know. Don't want to let you thinking about a thing that isn't actually true, and that was a very crummy sentence or whatever. Not like it's anything new, but I'm going to blame it on my uh, tiredness this time around and call it a day. Or a night, rather. But not really, because we still got a ways to go in this dungeon. Keep on making our way through here, and... Uh, we got more of these stinking dudes. Very easy one-up farming. And very easy experience game. Uh, we got another block. Oh, one of mushroom cheese. As if we didn't have enough one-ups already. So, I keep on thinking that I should heal up, but then I just get a bajillion single one-ups, and it becomes all uh, for naught, I suppose. And here's where that boulder ended up. Can't really do anything with it now, so I guess we'll just leave it be for now. Uh, hopefully, I don't know, I was gonna like make a passing of... You pass kidney stones? Is that what you do? I don't remember. I don't know. Pass some sort of stone. And before the episode ends, Mario gets a level up. Very nice. Uh, we got... Okay, that's looking okay. Looking good. Uh, go with attack. Yeah, I didn't regret it! Luigi gets a level up. Get all that stats, Luigi. Uh, we're gonna go with... With speed, oh, of course it's one. Uh, uh, I didn't see one that really stood out from any of the others, so just went with whatever. Go through here, and we got ourselves a warp pipe block in case you somehow got separated. And we have now made it to the true belly of the beast. And again, only two maps for this dungeon. It went by a lot quicker than I thought it would. Though I'm not going to attempt to do it all in one sitting, so we're going to go ahead and end it off right here. Next time on Mario & Luigi Partners in Time, we are going to continue on our journey through the center of you. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.